Hi, my name is Pana Asavavatana, and I currently work as the Pre-K-1 Technology and Design Coach at Taipei American School. Before this, I worked in early childhood classrooms, so early childhood really is my life. I love working with young children, and I love the developmental stage as well. Now, from my perspective, early childhood teachers are very, very good at figuring out the building blocks behind different concepts and learning so that they can teach these little building blocks in chunks to our youngest, um, to the youngest members of our school community. So when I shifted from being a, an early childhood classroom teacher to being a technology and design coach, I had lots of ideas. And I see this with teachers all around the world. They get new technology, they get really excited about, oh, I can use the iPad to make videos, I can get my kids to draw, they can record their voices. And we get really tied up in the product of what our students could possibly create. But what I started to notice after a year or two of being in my new role was that no matter how carefully I thought I had introduced the instructions to a new app or a tool, or how well I might have created an anchor chart with all the steps for the procedure, I always had students constantly asking me, Miss A, what do I do next? And I had iPads being shoved in front of my face. They couldn't really hold the steps in their heads. And at first I thought, well, maybe it's because they're young, they need some time to get used to it. But after a while, I started to notice that nothing was changing. They weren't becoming more independent users of digital tools. So I had to ask myself, what was I missing? And what I started to realize was that I was handing my students digital tools without acknowledging that these tools came with a series of concepts and literacies that I wasn't teaching them. It was like handing my students a book and asking them to read without ever teaching them anything about letters or sounds. You see, our job as educators is to put handles on learning, to make learning easy for them to grab onto and take with them from one scenario to the next. So what types of handles did my students need to become more independent users of digital tools? What I realized was I could show them where to look on the screen and what to press as much as I wanted to, but if I wanted them to be more independent, I needed to teach them how to analyze things like icons in relationship to the function that they were trying to achieve in, their, in that particular project. It's processes like trying to troubleshoot when you tap on something and it's not exactly what you wanted to do, or understanding what to do if your device freezes up on you. All of these things give your students handles so that they can become more fluent users, creators, and consumers of digital tools and digital media. So the next time you actually see your students looking at a new tool or playing with a new app, ask yourself if there's a way that you can provide your students a strategy so that they can become deeper thinkers and focus in on the learning just a little bit more.